Hello, this is Oliver Blair from Massey University and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to export geometry and also textures from SketchUp and then take it into um, Unreal Engine uh, 4.8 but this should also work for 4.9 okay so to begin with what we want to do is load up all the software so load up Unreal and I've just loaded up the first person shooter um, example template stuff so when I click, click play it's got all this stuff and you can shoot stuff and it looks like this and also load up SketchUp and also what you want to do is load up uh, Photoshop or your image editing software as well and this is where we're going to create our textures so to begin with in SketchUp it's really important that you're using SketchUp Pro because what you want to do is export as an FBX so if I go export, file export, 3D model and then you want to make sure that format is FBX and then you go into Unreal and you import the FBX file and all the textures with it as well that's basically how you do it so let's run th through it <coughs> okay so what I've got here is some weird shapes and I've sort of um, broken them up differently so these ones are just all individual faces and lines this one here is one big group so all four of these objects are in one uh, component sorry like that and then the last four are each individual components like that just so we can test you know what what they sort of behave like when you bring them in to Unreal on the other end so these are our little test shapes so what we want to do as well is we want to um, put some textures on it so <coughs> how how it works is you sort of define your your 3D shape and also the texture positions all in SketchUp and then when you import it into Unreal it will use those texture positions and the 3D geometry so sort of think about it like your your content creation is is here in SketchUp and then you can reposition it and play with it in Unreal and light it in different ways but it's a bit trickier to sort of 3D model in Unreal though you can do it alright so we've got our weird 3D models let's put some textures on it so I'll just press B for the paint bucket click on the brick and then just also click on the house, make sure we're in the colors and model section and I'm just going to right click and make a new texture so what I've already done is I've already saved my red and cyan images from uh, Photoshop and I'm just going to leave the scale at 1 meter squared so 1000 millimeters by 1000 millimeters and I'll do the same for the cyan one cool great so just so you can see I'll, I'll load up the Photoshop documents so you can sort of see there's just some layers and the image is 1024 by 1024 this might um, affect how it loads into Unreal like if it's a weird scale or if they're like you know not uh, round numbers then it might not work properly so keep that in mind as well and all I've done is just save for web so save for web as a JPEG like that okay so I've got my textures now in SketchUp and if I click on that I can start painting them onto different surfaces and what I'll do with um, some of these ones, if we remember that they're individual components, so in SketchUp, you know how if you you can paint a whole component, uh, one texture, like that. So I've just painted the outside of the text of the component. So if I go right click and go into the info, sort of see it's got this texture on the whole component. But if I go into it and click on one of the faces you can sort of see there's no material so we'll just leave that there like that as we test and we'll see if it comes through or not 
but the other ones, what I'll do with this one is I'll paint this all uh, cyan and then one of them I'll paint red and then this one the other way around Oop. paint that all red and then this one let's paint all cyan and same thing with this paint it all red and just do some parts uh, cyan and so what we can do you can sort of see that they're all using that default scale of the texture which is pretty cool but if you want what you can do you can right click on a face and then there is the texture options so you can go position and this allows us to reposition the texture but also with the uh, green little pin tool there we can scale it make it a lot bigger and also rotate it which is pretty sweet so we can get some big text there and I'll do it on uh, this one here too we'll see what happens so this is kind of my test, uh, test model okay great now I've positioned all our textures and I've left these blank on purpose as well so let's export it so file export 3d model and you want to make sure it's on FBX so again you need SketchUp Pro for that which is on all the lab machines but yeah and what I did there was just right click uh, just click on the options so you can sort of see how I've set it up this is fine you can do that if you want it'll just increase the um, amount of information in the model uh, but it's not necessary and you might want to play around with this depending on how you've set up your model I've set up mine properly so that all the faces are fa uh, fa faces are facing out but uh, if you've got some that are flipped then you might want to try experiment with that and also yep you definitely want to um, check this and you also want to check this as well and this is really important make sure the units are set to centimeters so okay and I'll do another test scene uh, three export it'll grind away and it'll also say two textures and three materials because one of them was just blank great now we can go back to unreal and what we want to do is click import and then we want to click on our test scene 3 so you can sort of see above here it's also created a folder and there'll be the images will be inside that so I'll click on FBX open and that will load up a new dialogue for you here so I think by default it will actually look like like this but there are these arrows here which are deceptively sort of small and if you click on them there's heaps more options inside so make sure you click on that first option under mesh and open up all those new options so also I think by default this here combined meshes will be checked you want to uncheck that and you want to make sure that you're importing your materials and your textures and there's also some options there but we don't need to worry about that okay cool so that's all set up yep we want to generate a collision map sure combine meshes off import geometry at scale yep import all it'll grind through and this error seems to always come up so this is just talking about smoothing group information but we can't set that I think you can set it in Maya probably but not with SketchUp so let's just close that that's fine you can sort of see that all our geometry is loaded in and also our textures and also the materials for those textures as well you can sort of see there's one two three new materials but only two new textures cool so what you want to do is you want to select all of the geometry and then drag it in if you drag it in one by one the position won't be um, how you set up 
like in SketchUp. So to get that, uh, that accurate sort of positioning of all the individual components, you want to select all of it in the content browser and then drag it in to your scene. And I'm just going to put it up in the sky so we can just sort of get a view of it. Here we go. Cool. You can sort of see it loaded it all up. And it's loaded all the textures up as well. And also the the texture mapping positions have been maintained. So we've set that in SketchUp and it's see how it's blown this texture out a lot bigger. And it's also imported the default material as well, which is pretty cool. So great, it all just sort of works. And if you want to edit this material, now you can just double click on this material. And you can sort of see there the, the texture sample and it's bringing it in there. So you can do all your um, higher level advanced material settings as well. Okay, also another thing I wanted to bring up was uh, how we set up in SketchUp a different um, sort of structure of our model. So this had no component around it. And this was all the, these four sort of objects were all in one component and these were all set up as individual components. So how that translates to uh, Unreal is that you can sort of see if I click on this it highlights all of that and I can move them all together and same for this one like that but you can sort of see that the origin of this model is still at the origin of the of the SketchUp model not of the component and unfortunately same as these guys but they're all individual so keep that in mind as well if you want to move things separately put them in components but if it doesn't matter then just make it all one big model